the truth is sometimes making these videos, the best part is when I'm testing my mic and my hair looks a mess. <laughs> so most of the time you will never get to see this. So I just decided to leave it in this video. Why not? <laughs> My Steelers take on the Cowboys this week, and I'm going to be honest with you, I don't like when my team plays in primetime. You want to know why? Because when my team plays in primetime, everybody has an opinion. Everybody watches one game and then tries to give you all the course corrections that your team should do, all the things you did wrong, all the things you did right, and they assess the team when really they haven't been riding with us. They don't know what our team's going to do, but it is what it is. It's the Dallas Cowboys, it's the Pittsburgh Steelers, it is blue blood programs obviously that that term doesn't really work in the nfl but you get what i'm saying it's historic franchises it's going to be on sunday night everyone's going to be tuned in everyone's going to be watching and i have some things i want to say about this video but i will say about this video about this matchup i will say though one thing that i kind of i was like feeling away i didn't know how i was going to make this video i didn't know what i was going to say how i was going to feel i didn't know the three things i was going to be paying attention to so this video is actually coming off me just spitballing what i think in my brain because i'm still a little disappointed in the team and it just is a reminder that the steelers are my baby and so when they do something dumb it's like i want to protect them but i don't want to talk about them but listen it's game time time for me to get my game face on time for me to pick and choose and get all the things that i want to say so on the other end of this, I will tell you the things that I am looking for for my Steelers this week. Obviously, I'm one of those people that wants my teams to win every single game. However, I'm totally aware that they can't win every single game. And so when they don't win games, though, I always analyze and then overanalyze and then analyze again and then go back again and then double check and make sure my analyzing is right because I am an overthinker, that's just what I do. But I am curious and fascinated to see how the Steelers show up. I'm ser I'm curious to see what did they learn? How do they come out? Did they evolve? They're at home, they're going to have the crowd behind them. It's at night and it, no, nothing is better than Pittsburgh at night for a night game. So I'm very curious to see how the Steelers come out this week. So the couple of things I'm going to be keeping an eye out on, the first thing is, this is the first game the Steelers have played where the run defense isn't good. If you go look at the games that we played previously, the statistics on how they defended the run was very well. And so the Steelers will get an opportunity this week to play a Dallas team that historically has not defended against the run very well. I will say, having said that, I don't know if we are able to do that. Like, I don't even know if we're a running team. And so I don't know how that will work out. But the first thing I'm going to be looking for is, can the Steelers run the ball? And are the Steelers going to want to run the ball also? The other thing I'll mention here is Justin Fields. I think this is the game where you have to open the playbook for Justin Fields. Allow Justin Fields to be the quarterback. Allow him to do the things that we need him to do to be successful. It's, it's kind of interesting that I, I understand what they're doing with him and I understand how they're bringing him along. I just think that there was times last week where it was like we were hindering him so much. And by the time we kind of gave him the reins and said, hey, go do you, go do what you can do, it was almost too late and it came back to haunt us. And so I really hope that they open up the playbook for Justin Fields this week because I want to see him run this offense and be QB1 and really lead us to a victory. That would be fantastic. Justin Fields leading us to a victory. That would just be amazing. I like how that sounds. The other thing I want to mention should be no surprise. I want to see how this defense shows up. And I want to see if they're able to make plays. Last week, we couldn't catch anything. Obviously, TJ Watt's getting held, but whatever it is, what it is. But I am very interested to see how this defense shows up to play. Are they ready? Do they know that they have a game on Sunday night football? Do they know they're playing the Dallas Cowboys this week? Like, I don't know. After that defense that I saw, it's like, I don't know what they're doing. I just hope that they show up and they're ready to go. Because I don't know what that was that I had to see last week. I don't know what Steelers defense that was. I hadn't seen that defense in a long time. So I just hope that they have their crap figured out and that we see a defense this week that is ready to go. The other thing, and so those are the three things I'm going to be looking out for. So for First of all, how is our run? Can we stop the run? What does that look like? Second thing is, is are we going to open the playbook up for Justin Fields? And then the third thing is, is our defense going to show up? Because I believe this game is going to be won with our defense versus the Cowboys offense. Because the Cowboys offense usually is very well, works very well. They can usually move the ball well. They usually score a lot of points. I will say that I think we have two of the league's best kickers right now. I don't know if that's statistically true, but I do know that we both 
both rely on our kickers very much. And so I'm very fascinated to just see how our defense plays against this Dallas offense. For the first time this year, I'm going to say a kind of intangible thing that I just mentioned is the kickers. And so I think both of our kickers kick very well. And so if this game comes down to a kicking game, which, oh my God, if it does that, I will be so annoyed. But if it comes down to a kicking game, it's kind of a wash on who's the better kicker. So it's really going to come down to fill position and things like that. So at the end of the day, this is the next challenge for my team. We are three and one. We are playing for, we're playing at home. This is what you want to see after a loss. And quite frankly, you just want to see how your team bounces back. So I'm very curious to see how the Steelers bounce back, who we are, who this team is. And I'm really hoping that we are able to create some type of offensive identity because as of now, I don't know what our identity is on offense. I think we're just praying. We're just hoping and praying and hoping it works. Out. The thing I want to shout out to is that offensive line. And I feel like I'm just rattling off all of these things in this video because as they come to me, I'm just saying that but I hope our offensive line figures it out. I'll let it go. So as far as my prediction goes, I will be honest and say, I, I can't take the Cowboys. Like I actually physically like can't say out of my mouth that I'm going to take the Dallas Cowboys. So I am rolling with my team. <laughs> I hope Pittsburgh actually blows them out and beats them by 30. I don't see that happening. I can't think of the last time the Steelers even had a blowout, but I'm picking the Steelers to win this game. And when I looked back at my preseason prediction, I actually have the Steelers winning this game. I think the Steelers, if they do what they're supposed to do, like if the defense that I know shows up, I think that they'll be fine. I just don't know which defense is going to show up. But if that defense shows up and is able to get some stops and our offense is able to move the ball, obviously, like obviously whoever usually does that wins, but I think our team should win games. I think one thing that's going to be super important here is, is this, is this the, the defense that we had the first three games that's going to be able to like create turnovers and do things like that? Or is this a different defense? I don't know. So I hate to say all of this depends on our defense because obviously our offense has to score points, but last week it felt like our defense let us down. But I will end this video here. I'm riding with the Steelers. I hope the Steelers win this game. I just don't want to be disappointed because last week was pretty bad. But as always, <laughs> I will stop talking. If you haven't already, like, share, subscribe, do all the things. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you're thinking about this matchup. Let me know if you're a Cowboys fan, if you're a Steelers fan, or if you're just a fan of football, like what you think about this matchup. But I hope the Cowboys, you know, don't show up and I hope the Cowboys don't travel and all the things. And listen, this is the only game that I have this week where one of my teams is playing in it. And I will say here, this is kind of funny. On the first bye week that the Steelers have a bye week, Colorado and Texas has a bye week too. Isn't that kind of crazy? Anyways, I'm just rambling. So I'll end this video here. Here we go.